Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is gonna be an organization of my linen closet and cleaning closet that I have in my guest bathroom. So ever since my husband and I moved in here a couple of months ago, this is something that I haven't really tackled yet and haven't gotten a grip on. So I bought a few bins from the container store and we are gonna get this space in shape today. And I'm really excited because today's video is in collaboration with Michaela from AfterTap. I found Michaela on Instagram. If you guys love the Tap to Tidies on Instagram stories, she is the queen of the Tap to Tidies. So make sure you check her out on Instagram, but also on YouTube. She does lots of cleaning motivation, lifestyle videos. I especially love her How to Clean series. She goes through in depth how to clean certain things within your house. So make sure to check that out. But also when you're done watching this video, she's gonna be doing a similar video. So head over there the second you're done with this one and I will make sure to link her channel in the description box below. But with all of that, I think it's time that we jump into my linen closet and get this space looking organized. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. So now I have everything out of the linen closet with the exception of my towels that I actually think I took the time to fold properly. So I don't really want to redo them. I'm going to leave them where they are. And then I left in my mop bucket and a few tools on the door. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and figure out what to do with this one extra towel. And I might have another one that I'm going to stick in there too. So let's see how that works. I just washed my duster and my mop head, which is one of the reasons I love both of these products is because they're machine washable. And I really enjoy the hooks that I have on the door. They're actually command hooks. I've tried so many different things and those work the best for me. So I love those, but also at the bottom, that's where I keep my mop bucket. And I keep my method squirt mop in that bucket just because that's when I use it. So it's easiest for me to keep there. Next, I'm just gonna fold that one towel that was sitting at the top of the closet, as well as another one I had hanging up. Because this is a guest bath, I'm fine with having just one out and didn't need the second one. And it was actually blocking the light switch. So I wanted to fold that. Okay, now that everything is out of the closet, the first thing I'm gonna do is sort everything into categories. So I have a pile of kind of miscellaneous cleaners, soaps, dish soaps and hand soaps, and then kind of an all-purpose cleaner and a few other piles. I realized I had some things under my sink and it might be a good idea to bring them out as well. Even though I'm not necessarily organizing under my sink today, I wanted to make sure I was going through all of the cleaning products and had the right products in my under sink caddy versus what's in the linen closet. That's actually something from the KonMari method. She really recommends sorting through your home item by item or category by category as opposed to room by room. So this was a good example of that. I wanted to go through all of my cleaning products at once. Now I'm not sure exactly what category I wanna call this grouping of stuff, but COVID-19 is pretty much what it is. It is gloves, masks, and hand sanitizers. And we were actually in California with my parents near the beginning of the pandemic. 
and my dad gave me a bunch of cleaning supplies in unlabeled bottles and I realized that I still didn't know what some of these bottles were so I was giving them a sniff but I was also texting my dad pictures saying what the heck is this how do I use it is it hand sanitizer is it a disinfectant spray please help and I want to show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay So I got a call back from my dad and I immediately pulled out the label maker so I could label some of these mystery bottles and the instructions for how to use them as well. Now that I have all of my multi-purpose, multi-surface, whatever you call them, cleaners figured out, I'm just gonna fill this one up a little bit with some of that backup cleaner and start to load them up in this larger bin. It was a little bit of a game of Tetris trying to figure out how to get all of these products in here. And I don't love to have this many cleaning products. This is way too many for me to have on hand. But again, my dad did give me quite a few. I get some cleaning products sent to me to test out. So I have some of those as well, and I do enjoy a lot of them, but I just don't need 15 multi-purpose cleaners at once. So you'll see I have a lot of Jaws cleaners refill pods. I actually really enjoy the Jaws cleaners. If you're somebody who's sensitive to fragrance, they're a great option for you. They're not super strong in their scents. And of course, they take up very little room to have back stock on hand, which is another reason that I really like them. So Jaws cleaners would be a great option for you if you have a small amount of space but want to have some back stock. I wasted all my time. I wasted all my nights. I wasted it on someone who's indifferent. The next bin is my, we'll call it miscellaneous cleaners. And then I'm just gonna fill up my toilet wand cleaner. I do use a disposable toilet wand. I've gone through numerous ways to try and figure out how I could enjoy using a regular toilet wand that's not disposable. And I know it's not environmentally friendly, but this is just what I do to clean my toilet and I'm so much happier this way. 
This little cleaning caddy is from Eucopia and I really like it. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to use it. I might actually end up taking out one of the dividers because it might be unnecessary to have this many divided spaces for exactly what I'm using it for. But I like that I can have everything I need to clean in the bathroom in one spot and bring it from bathroom to bathroom. I never saw the signs, it didn't treat me right But I just couldn't let him go You waited patiently, you waited for me You showed me what it was to love You have been here since day one See my eyes and eyes. Next up are all of my hand soaps And I do have some seasonal hand soaps I have a dish soap that is the acorn spice scent I'm gonna stick that actually in my kitchen because it's fall now so I'm gonna use it in the fall time and then I have my winter snowdrop scent and my winter peppermint scent that I'll save for later then I guess we have the COVID-19 bin with the masks the gloves and the hand sanitizer again now that I know what all of the bottles are and this next bin is going to be room fragrance I am actually gonna end up labeling all of these things I just don't have all of the labels from the container store they were sold out when I went there so I'm gonna have to hold off on that for now but I think I'll call this one room fragrance or something along those lines so I have my little reed diffusers as well as some backup refills for the Febreze plugins that I have so I had two different scents in the Febreze plug-in refills. I had an apple spice scent and a cranberry scent, and I just wanted to label them so I knew which one was which since they looked exactly the same with the coloring on the tops. And usually the fragrances have different colors. So the apple is something I'll use in the fall and cranberry will probably transition as it's more Thanksgiving time and heading into winter. So I had batteries in my cleaning closet as well. Now I'm not sure if this is the best home for them. I think I'm just going to leave them there for now, but I did use a photo organizer to organize all of my smaller batteries and I was shocked at how well they all fit in there. I could actually stack the AA batteries too high and it still closed just fine. So I could almost fit all of my batteries in this little thing and I might end up moving it, like I said, to a different spot, but for now they're going to go in my cleaning closet. And look, I found a needle at the bottom of this bin, so that's kind of scary. So I pulled that out. Then I have all of my Dyson parts, and since we live in an apartment and I'm not going to install anything on the wall in here, I decided to do two separate bins, one with all of the wall mount supplies that we're not going to use, and then another one with all of the accessories that we will use while we're in the apartment. And I'll just stack them on top of each other and stack the one that I'm going to use more often on top. So same thing here, I'm just going to pull off all the labels and then double check and remind myself what's in each bin and stack things accordingly. And I do think I'm going to stack some of these bins on top of each other. So same thing, I want to make sure the things that I'm putting on the bottom are the items that I want to access less. So that's some of my backup cleaning supplies that I don't plan on using that often unless I actually run out of a cleaner. Now the fun part, the actual organizing and loading up the bins and making everything look all nice and neat and pretty. Oh, I gotta wake up. This might be a breakup. Cause I don't believe. 
Another thing I wanted to take into account as I was filling up the closet was what goes lower down should be things that I don't want to access as often because I do put my vacuum and my mop there. So it kind of blocks the access to some of the shelves. Hey guys, that is it for today's video. I'm really happy with how my cleaning closet turned out. I'm actually shocked that there's so much extra space at the top of the cabinet, but that just goes to show that you don't need to fill up your space completely. It's okay to leave a little bit of empty space, some room to breathe. Things actually look better often that way without cramming things into your closet or whatever space you're working on. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and you came over from Michaela's channel at After Tap, leave a comment below say hello introduce yourself i would love to meet you if you guys haven't checked out michaela's channel make sure to go watch her video now that you're done with this one and until next time i will see you guys later